Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video session on daily news and editorial analysis dated 21st of November. Through this video session, I'll be discussing the important news and editorial both from the Hindu and Indian Express. The discussion will include the emphasis from the examination perspective, which include the civil services examination, many state government or the public service commission examination, one day examination conducted by various agencies of the government of India. So this analysis will give you the comprehensive idea and will cover the detailed analysis one by one. And before that, I'll give you the highlights of the news that I'm going to discuss with you for today. For today, the first important news is about the National Pharmacy Commission. We'll see the detail to this, why government is bringing the change. The government has released a draft. Second is about the India-Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue, something again very important. Third is about the report that has been released by UN. So this is with regard to the climate change and even the temperature which has breached the threshold level. The second last news is about the Philippines that call for the neighboring countries and they have actually advocated for South China Sea conduct rule, which is again very important and even to rule out the discriminatory power or you can say the dominance of the China in the region. And we'll conclude this session with editorial that talks about the employment challenge. I mean, recently uh, there was a you know, debate going for 70 hour work challenge in that concept. How does India fit in or kis tarah se workforce ko motivations karne ko hai to get that thing start. We'll see the detail to each and every news and editorial one by one. So let's get started. The first is the National Pharmacy Commission Bill 2023, something again important. And this particular bill has been released by the Ministry of Health. So MOHP, the Ministry of Health has actually released that draft plan. And through this particular bill, the government aims to repeal the part of Pharmacy Act. Agar Pharmacy Act ki baat kare, Pharmacy Act of 1948 will be repealed out. And basically, this will be replacing the Pharmacy Council of India, which is known as PCI, right, with a national commission. Something very important in that aims to regulate pharma at the national level. So if we talk about the national level, national level pe regulations ki koshish ki gai hai through the National Pharmacy Commission Bill 2023. Now, what are the changes and what are the aim of this bill? How it will call and how it will ensure that things are working at the national level? So this bill, ke through, sabse pehle access to affordability badai jayegi. The access to affordability of the high quality pharma educations and even to ensure that the availability of the pharmacy professional at the national level will be ensured. Now, before that, the part which was taken care by the Pharmacy Council of India, now this will be regulated at the national level, right? National level per regulations hogi. It seeks to promote equitable healthcare by making the pharmacy services accessible to all citizens. We have seen that during COVID-19, the crunch of healthcare personnel was even witnessed. So, us thing ko dhyan mein dekhte hue, regulatory measures hain ye, government ki, you know, the part of the framework that has been brought in to make the changes at the ground level as well. It also called for the periodic and transparent assessment of the pharmacy institutions, jo higher educations honge, even the higher educational institutions and even the educations that is promoting the pharmacy registration will be overall revamped. The bill encouraged the professionals to integrate the latest research and their work contributions and research will uphold with the ethical standard. See, ethical standard in medical practice is very important. It has to be prioritized and it should be given into that dimension. If you talk about general studies paper 4, you have to have case studies mein ethical dimensions with regards to the part of medical or any life practices se bhi ethical dimensions se sawal ya case studies can be asked. Now, Pharmacy Ethics and Registration Board that will be formed. As I've told you, ethics will be prioritized in this bill. So according to the draft bill, the Pharmacy Ethics Registration Board hai, will maintain the National Pharmacy Register ko, and that will have a details of pharmacy professional to ensure the transparency. Although the transparency was even prior being practiced, but isko aur jada sunishit karne ke liye, and even to give more robustness, this thing will be taken to place. The draft bill call for the flexibility where it will be tried to make effective governance and redressal mechanism. See, grievance is something which is grievance and redressal mechanism. This is very important for any organizations. 
So this is how the things will be taken into consideration and the registration of board will ensure that the part of grievances is actually being taken care for the all the concerned stakeholders. Now moving ahead with other news, India Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. Uh, this is again something very important between India and Australia. Or India or Australia ke beech mein is tarah ki 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue kafi zada important rahi hai. Jahan pe important sectors like mineral. The one important sector that is there between mineral and investment. So investment will call not only for India, but it will call Australia also. Jahan pe dono countries ke beech mein mutually beneficials di jayengi or investment will be at the larger level ki focus area kya thi sabse pehle arene jo anti submarine warfare hai and even air to air refueling these are the two critical areas that will be looked upon military cooperations mein agar baat kare this is in the military cooperations then we have security in the indo pacific even the the dominance of china which is there china ki dominance ko kam karne ke liye jo indo pacific region hai us pe bhi discussion hogi specifically india has been advocating for the part of indo pacific neutrality aur har ek country ko uniformity ki bhi baat ki gayi hai the free access to everyone the neighboring country should be there china ki dominance abhi indo pacific mein kafi zyada hai now hydrographic cooperations and strengthening the ties in such sector which include minerals space education and science and technology other than this aircraft maintenance repair and overhaul this is also known as mro this pe bhi discussion honi hai joint research is there between the underwater technology india and australia are exploring the part of underwater technology as well with their joint collaborations and two side will also discuss the geopolitical issues jis tarah se west asia mein even if you look at the israel philistine aur jo war chal rahi hai ukraine mein even russia ukraine war was uh, i mean that is also an agenda to be discussed upon now if you look at the part of trade between india and australia kon kon si aisi segment hai jahan pe trade hoti hai dono countries ke beech mein so major import from australia would include the mineral fuel and the crude inorganic chemicals uh, the part of gems and jewelries wool aluminium made articles aur kon si aisi articles hai jo export ki jati hai that also include the mineral fuel and crude oil rail locomotives gems and jewelries pharmaceuticals and all types of apparels that is there तो एक ह्यूज मार्केट है एपरल्स के लिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया नाउ म्यूचुअल लॉजिस्टिक सपोर्ट एग्रीमेंट दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज एम एल एस ए एग्रीमेंट व्हिच इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट बिटवीन इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया ये एक म्यूचुअल लॉजिस्टिक सपोर्ट एग्रीमेंट है एंड जस्ट टू रिमाइंड यू इंडिया हैज ऑलरेडी द नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक पॉलिसी राइट दिस इज 2020 ओनली तो उसको ध्यान में रखते हुए इंडिया के लिए भी काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है and two navies have also signed the part of india australia navy agreement which will revamp the part of navy relationship with australia australia has also the licensing officers at navy that has the information infusion center which will be there at the indian ocean region uske sath sath dono countries ne decide kiya that they will have a maritime visits of indian submarine to australia which is uh, canberra i mean australia is hosting at the malabar naval exercises so these are the part of navy engagement between india and australia now moving ahead un emission gap report 2023 something very important and that has give some astonishing fact about the temperature rise about the climate change that we are witnessing across the globe so the united nation environment program unep ye kafi important hai प्रॉब्लम्स में या फिर किसी और गवर्नमेंट एग्जामिनेशन में आपसे डायरेक्ट सवाल पूछे जा सकते हैं दे हैव कम अप विद द रिपोर्ट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट व्हाट इज द टाइटल ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट दिस इज अबाउट द ब्रोकन रिकॉर्ड द टेम्परेचर हिट अ न्यू हाई द येट वर्ल्ड फेल्स टू कट द इमिशन अगेन समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ सार्कैजम दैट हैज बिन एक्चुअली हाईलाइटेड टू दिस टाइटल ऑफ दिस एडिशन एंड दिस इज अ टाइम दैट across the globe across with any barrier we definitely need to work towards the sustainability of the environment now finding of the reports ki agar baat kare jo temperature threshold hai wo badi hai jo depending upon the un report has revealed that 86 days this year has surpassed 1.5 degrees celsius ki jo temperature limit actually rakhi gayi thi paris climate agreement ke through usko bhi surpass kar gayi gayi and the world has become warmer even the part of the climate politics of the countries which is like uh, limited to 3 degrees celsius at end of the century will be not possible so we need to take into action agar sdg goal ki baat kare jo sustainable development goal hai we have three goals that should be taken into consideration the third goal 
which call for good health and well-being this need to be prioritized then we have goal number 7 which call for affordability and clean energy and goal number 13 that call for climate actions to agar aap mains examination mein likh rahe hain to aapko 3 7 aur 13 yaad hona chahiye so that you can highlight that now the other finding include the carbon dioxide emissions 2020 ki agar baat kare 2022 ki the global carbon emissions that has taken up to 57.4 billion right and this has made increase from 1.2% compared to the part of covid level ke time mein jo emissions kam hui hai usse zyada wapas badhi hai the biggest emitter countries include china and united states i have already given you the graph in our previous discussion to aap wahan check kar le if you not if you don't have that you can have a google access to that so china or united states hai do bade emitters uske baad india is also contributing as a third emitter in the world एंड कुछ कंट्रीज है जिन्होंने अपनी इमिशन कम की है दैट इंक्लूड यूरोपियन यूनियन रशिया एंड ब्राजील दैट हैव सीन दैट द इमिशन लेवल इज गोइंग डाउन अ बेट विच अगेन नीड टू वर्क मोर ऑन दिस ट्रेनिंग दिस पार्ट नो क्या रिकमेंडेशन दी है इमिशन ग्रुप रिपोर्ट ने और इस रिपोर्ट में कुछ फोर इंपॉर्टेंट एरियाज पे हाईलाइट करने की बात की गई है द फर्स्ट इंक्लूड डेवलपिंग अ रोबोस्ट मैकेनिज्म किस तरह से जहाँ पे जो क्रेडिबिलिटी है जो क्रेडिबिलिटी है दैट नीड टू बी इन शॉर्ट सेटिंग अप द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड की जो सी ओ टू की जो इमिशंस लेवल है उसको कम करने की जरूरत है वी नीड टू प्रायोरटाइज दैट ऑल्सो एक्सकेलरेटिंग इनोवेशन दिस इनोवेशन शुड बी पार्ट फॉर द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड हार्नेसिंग दिस एनर्जी फॉर को बेनिफिट एंड अदर right india has already set a target for net zero emission i would always like to highlight this fact taki aapko yaad rahe ki india ne net zero emissions ki jo target hai wo 2070 ke liye rakhi hai aur bahut sari targets india achieve kar rahi hai by 2030 like 50% of the carbon emissions should be there from the green uh, i mean the part of the clean energy right sustainable energy se use karegi india aur jo green house gas emissions hai usko bhi kam karegi to ye sare kuch aise targets hai jo india ke liye ek significant advantage hai now philippines invite neighbors to frame south china sea conduct rule something very important when the philippines has been doing the tussle between uh, them i mean china ne unke baat ko agree nahi kiya to ab they are seeking help from the neighboring countries that there should be a uh, you know code to south china sea conduct rule hone ki zarurat hai taki jo border countries hain jo neighboring countries hain specifically south china sea mein unko ek conduct rule mile और जो चाइना की डोमिनेंस है उसको कम किया जा सके स्पेसिफिकली नाइन डैश लाइन और कुछ स्पेसिफिक रीजन में इन द साउथ चाइना सी सो कोड ऑन साउथ चाइना सी दिस इज समथिंग नॉट न्यू डिमांडेड दिस हैज बीन डिमांडेड वे बैक 2015 से दिस हैज बीन इन डिमांड एंड दिस डिमांड हैज कंटिन्यूड इसके कोई कंक्लूसिव एक्शन अभी भी नहीं हुए फिलिपींस हैज बिन स्टेटिंग दैट दे शुड लुक इन टू दैट और फिलिपींस वैतनाम दे आर एक्चुअली आस्किंग दैट वी शुड कम अप विद code on the south china sea south china sea has been growing active dominance of china specifically china ke dominance hai aur is cheez ko counter karne ke liye kai aise agreement bhi hue hain jahan united states manila beijing they have been involving in the confederations for year but there's no conclusive action in this regard now concern kya hai concern hai nine dash line ko lekar ke i'll show you what is the nine dash line just discuss this part or this is extend to the 1500 km of the exclusive economic zone जो कि और कंट्रीज के हक में भी है लाइक द कंट्रीज इंक्लूड फिलिपींस वियतनाम ब्रुनाई इंडोनेशिया और मलेशिया ये ऐसे कंट्रीज हैं जो कि एक्सक्लूसिव इकोनॉमिक जोन के अंदर आते हैं विद इन द पार्ट ऑफ नाइन डैश लाइन बट एक्चुअल जो अभी किसकी डोमिनेंस है द ओनली डोमिनेंस दैट वी हैव सीन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ चाइना सो वी नीड टू कर्व इट आउट चाइना हैज स्टेटेड दैट देर दे नीड टू बी हैव अ कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट बट अगेन जो क्रूशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है वो आशियन कंट्रीज पे भी ज्यादा है and even the growing dominance of china in the part of maritime fraternity they need to be taken into consideration kyunki jo economic viable route hai jo commerce route hai wo sare countries ke liye open honi chahiye and this is the map of the nine dash line which is there in the south china sea so some of the important region that you have to take a note of this can be relevant for the upcoming prelims examination which include the partial island the spati island right and these are the island shoals this is vietnam malaysia brunei and even taiwan and philippines so these country have been claiming their rights in the nine dash line specifically that is in the exclusive economic zone jise eez bhi kehte hain now moving ahead with the editorial for the day that is making sense for employment challenge so we'll see what the part of the debate that is ongoing that is the 70 hour work 
that Indians should put in to build their nation, how feasible it would be, we'll see the detail to that as well. So before that, what I'm going to discuss is the output demand and labor, the case of South Korea, economic strategies for India and the conclusion part. Now, Infosys ke founder Narayan Muthi ne recently ek interview mein kaha tha that 70 hour week uh, should be incorporated. That I mean, they should be devoting, the individuals should be devoting the 70 hour work so that the country productivity should be on a higher side. But uske bohat sare maine hai, dimensions hai, we need to consider that, right? He emphasized that we need to improve where the country like Germany and Japan has been set a precedent example with working hard professionals. And 70 hour a week, has been translated to 12 hours a day. When if six days is taken into consideration, if six days is also possible, then it will be five days. Hongi, it will be exceeding up to like close to I mean 14 hours a day, right? So the crucial question is whether the Indians uh, are ready to do that longer work, specifically in the private sector, where there is no recognition. If you are doing your work, if your management is not you know happy with you, you are you are lay off, you are being fired, right? So, where there is no security, these countries have examples given by Germany, Japan and US because they people provide subsidized health care, subsidized education. All the things that have a sense of security and social security promote ki jati hai. The social security which is there, which is acting as the part of motivations to the people which is not there in India. So, what is it going to achieve all these things? We will see through that. Now, output, demand and labor, if you look at the Keynesian revolutions in the economy, it has come up with aggregate demand concept. Jitni demand hai, utni supply hoti aur economy accordingly perform karti. There's no demand for the labor independence and demand for the goods are there, right? Kuch firms aise hain, jo ki profit ke motive se kaam karte, they don't care for the labor part. Agar Indian labor laws ke mutabik bhi dekhe, to 48 hour is the maximum that you can work for a week. Then how we can go for 70 hours? It's not feasible for country like India, right? The demand for goods and services is determining the layoff. Or kuch tech companies aise hain, like Google and Amazon, they have hired a lot many people during COVID-19 lockdown. Why they have hired? Because COVID-19 ke time mein jo tech industries thi, they have taken a boom. Online industry kafi zyada kaam kari thi. People were preferring ordering online. But post-COVID, ye dekha gaya hai ki un sare employees ko fire kiya gaya. They have been uh, fired for their particular department and the, the, the livelihood options for that individual has come to a high risk. So, if you have a lot of people who are actually devoting their full dedications without any surge in their salary or hike or without any of the benefits and emoluments, it's not feasible in India. I mean, even if ethically, it is wrong, right? Now, in the case of South Korea, if you look at the South Korea, if you look at the classical example like Germany and Japan, we can have an example for South Korea, right? This country has been performing well. U.S. ki uh, war ke baad bhi they have been no, something that they, they have actually doing well. Now beyond the financial aspect, these have been doing with a nationalistic drive or they have been building their country where the catastrophe for external force was also there. The economy of Germany and East Asia was taken into consideration post-war constructions and even demand for creative output were there on the highest side. Now, economic strategies for India, how the feasibility is there in India. There are two strategies that they are going to work for India. The first is to approach for the domestic economy. The global market is more explore the competitiveness the competitiveness at global level. And even the salary hike, the price of the work that is being done. You know, input to income. Input to income, that is something that is, uh, that is required at this point of time. And competitiveness the physical structures, the physical infrastructures, the competitive labor, the labor laws and the compliances and the second route is to have an output in employment, domestic market, thus segregating the demand. This is how the things will work in the right directions. Now to conclude that part, if we talk about studies, the Indian informal sector has revealed certain segments where unorganized worker are having the extended working hour, jahan pe wages jo hain, jo wage jo hain, jo salary hai, that is minimal. So, I mean, workforce is not really motivated. Either you are motivated with the appraisement or even with the part of the salary hike. Ye bohat hi zyada psychological concept hai, jahan pe wage hike ek logo ko motivation deti hai, specifically in Indian context. 
द टास्क इज टू हैव इन्फोर्स लीगल मेजर्स जो कि गारंटी करेगी इंप्रूवमेंट फॉर द कंडीशन शॉर्टर वर्किंग आर बेटर पे इंक्रीज एक्सेस टू इक्विपमेंट कैन एलिवेट द पार्ट ऑफ फिजिकल टोल ऑफ द लेबर सो वी हैव टू सी द मेंटल हेल्थ मेंटल हेल्थ पे भी हमें ध्यान देने की जरूरत है द फिजिकल हेल्थ द मेंटल हेल्थ द मेंटल पीस द वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस एवरीथिंग नीड टू बी टेकन टू कंसिडरेशन सो एन इंडिविजुअल नीड टू एक्चुअली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट बेस्ट आउट ऑफ एयर नेशन बिल्ड ये सारी चीजों की जरूरत होनी चाहिए Now moving ahead with the answers discussion uh, with the first questions the correct option is B and I have said ADB के बारे में पूछा था so statement one is correct statement two is incorrect that the project sector as a public private partnership and the voting identically for the World Bank as C statement third B जो है वो correct है you can pause this video and you can check out the complete statement one by one the second question is one nation one product uh, this was again one station one product इसके स्टेटमेंट जो है सारे करेक्ट हैं यू कैन रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट वन बाय वन द प्रोजेक्ट इज देयर बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे नाउ टुडे इज एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू कंसीडर अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोल ट्रस्ट इट्स एन स्ट्रेट फ्री बेरियर इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट डोनेट द पोलिटिकल पार्टीज इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू बजट एनी कंपनी रजिस्टर अंडर द कंपनी इज एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन कैन डोनेट an interest party can donate political parties 95% contributions receiving in the fiscal year so aap kya kar sakte hain isme participate karne ke liye question number 1 likhe apne jo correct options hain a b c ya d ke format mein hame comment section mein zarur batane the second question for the day is you have to consider the statement that is bomb sagar is an exercise between india and bangladesh it's a fifth edition for the coordinations between india and bangladesh in the north pf of bengal ye questions CAPF aspirant ke liye specifically those aspirant who will be appearing for CAPF examination unke liye kafi zyada relevant hai you can also practice this question number 2 likh kar ke apne options hame zarur batayein comment section mein this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern queries and you know inquiry about admissions test series and programs you can reach out to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching thank you for staying connected